Okay guys, hello and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Doc Bay. I'm behind the camera. This is an update on my assemblage, assemblage project, the new one that I have started. I know I did a video a little while back showing y'all, telling y'all about my new craft I was fixing to do. Showing you what I had made to put on it, what I was going to use to put all the stuff on and you know how I was going to do that. So, this is an update on that. I have done a lot to it. But, I don't even know if you could call this midway, really and truly. There is a lot of steps to this. So, it is nowhere near finished. I've still got a long way to go. But, I am loving it and really enjoying it. So, here's the update on that, what that looks like. Here it is. So, I put a bottom platform of popsicle sticks that I glued together on the bottom. That's the little bitty mini wood Jenga game blocks that you get at the Dollar Tree. I glued two together and then put four around on that to give it higher but really steady legs. All right, on this platform, in the middle, I glued some stuff to be a post to support the next platform. So that's a cork. This is a little round wood like a tree stump. It even has the bark on the side of it. And this here is a spool, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, a spool. And then I had to put another little piece of the broke off. Um, uh, or no, that's that's the bottom support of that platform. That's what that is I'm seeing. So that made that look like a table. Not really intending for that. So I had some little doll stuff. That's a knife. Um, is that the fork over here? I think that's the fork. And the spoon is over here. And I know it's not focusing. Y'all can't really see that good. So I've glued them on there. Okay, this is another... What I've done there, it's a bottle cap. But it's two little round bingo pieces. And then I glued the bottle cap on it. That makes it look like a little stool there at the table. Now, this one could be another stool, but I intended it to be like a mushroom, because to me it looks like one of those tall mushrooms. That's just a little piece that I haven't had in my stuff. I don't even really know what it is. I think it's plastic, or it may be a wood piece, and then I glued the bottle cap on it. Okay. Over here, this is like a little charm. I could get it where you could see it's a bird's nest with a little bird on it and three little pearl eggs pearl bead eggs that was the charm was made like that I already had that like that all right then on this piece coming out here I put this platform I had a wood book and this this here is a magnet so it will have some removable parts like this that you can take off so that's a magnet, and with that being metal, it just sits right there. It's a jar. It says food for thought. So I kind of thought this book could be about something that has something to do with food for thought, you know. So then I had this thing. I don't really know what it is. It's kind of wood veneer. These are the little wood veneer people. So I used it as a stand to stand them up in. I've got them glued in there real good so the girl is not leaning on nothing. But the boy happens to be tall enough and made it to lean against this shelf. So I glued him against there. Okay. Then I put this shelf on the side. That metal stuff that is glued under it. And down onto the bottom of the platform down there. And sticking up. It ain't glued to nothing up there. It's just sticking up. Is part of a hanger I cut off. And then this here is a little dollhouse hanger. 
that I hooked on there. I plan on putting something on that, but that will come off. Another removable part. This here is an index card. I cut a slit in it. I had this zipper. I placed it in there. I glued it down here and on the outsides. Okay, but that zipper is also, it's kind of, let me turn it this away, is also a moving part. It's a little hard with one hand. But it's a moving part. Okay. Coming up to the second platform. Again, to support it as a post, I glued a clothespin that has had a cork on it already but then I also had to put one of the little I can get my hands out of the way one of the little Jenga pieces plus another broke off piece of popsicle stick along with the one that's supporting this top shelf and then I glued this one out on it to be able to hang this clock on. So another removable part. So that clock hangs right on there like that. And I had this wood bunny and he was already on this twine. And so I glued, I stuck it up in there on that piece that I put under there. Can y'all see? No, I don't have it right. But yet I glued it up in there so it won't come out. And yeah, it hangs out. He moves. He's another movable part. I can hang him. He can lay on there like that. Or we can prop him up. Oh, it's hard to do. It's hooked on his ear now. Hang on. There we go. Prop him up. Now, as a little hidden gem, as they say, when somebody's looking around on this at all the things that's on it, they'll turn it around because, let me go to this shelf first. To put this shelf on, it is glued to the side here, but I put another one of those little wheels, uh, tree stump looking wheels that has the bark on the side. I glued it to the, this shelf on the bottom and then up under that shelf. Okay, so on the inside is a hidden gem instead of the outside where it would be seen good. I glued, it's the perfect same size. That's one of those uh, Mardi Gras doubloons and I glued it on there. So that was pretty cool. Okay, this shelf, I have glued this flower here, this dragonfly here, and this round piece here. And then this is like a ring of a bow, pink bow, checkered, white and pink. See, it's like a big ring. So I glued it, if I can get my finger right, I glued it here and I glued the two points of the ends of the bow here. Okay, now to the top. I've just glued, I've got a shell here. These are like sequin, sequin heart. These are little beads. That's a flat back pearl. That's a snap actually, and it's another moving part. I don't know. It snaps off because it's a snap. I want to figure out a way to maybe put something, somehow or another, attach something to this top part, okay, where it will still snap on there and be easy for me to snap, snap off but when I snap it off whatever that's attached to will come off I want to figure that out I hadn't yet that's a button some more beads this is one of those enamel dots sink ones and a bobble now you'll notice this end is empty and that's for a reason I have plans for that end okay and it's gonna be so cute and adorable like I said I have a lot of steps left of this to do. It is nowhere near done. I don't even know if you could call it halfway done. Now let's look at the back. This is what it looks like from the back side. So this white thing here was a handle of a gift bag. And 
I wrapped it around and glued it, but to help give it more support, I took some Baker's twine and tied it around there real tight, but also glued that. It hangs down. Before I put it on there, I had this little wooden veneer bird that has, y'all don't mind my husband, he's watching the bad weather. We have hurricane weather here today. Uh, and talking on the phone to our daughter. Gracie's mama, sorry. Anyway, wood veneer bird, it had a hole in it, so I slipped him on there and then glue this here. So this kind of moves, it can be kind of like his swing. He moves, you can flip him around, but I can place him a certain way and it looks like he's sitting there on it. And so, so far, that is my assemblage project. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I am really enjoying and having fun working on this. Yeah, buddy. All right, this is a 11 minute long video. Oh, well. Okay, I am out of here until next time I'm done. I'm going to the loo-hoo.